Hey, cool Paris here. Um, I'm going to show you a neat little trick with the slice to MIDI function in Ableton and how to use it in your live sets and for remixes. And the reason we're going to do this is um, you see here I have all my synths group into one group here. And a lot of this is all chopped up audio that's been frozen and flattened and, you know, it's been chopped up, it's been affected. And there's really no way that you could really be able to play all this stuff back live, but using the slice to MIDI function we'll actually be able to play um, this stuff back live and it'll give you um, a little bit more room to kind of remix on the fly and um, to make your live sets a lot more live, which is, you know, that's what I really like to do. So um, the most important thing with this is your grouping. Uh, the way I have this all grouped here is I have my drums all in one group, have the main track for this remix all in one group and have the sense in one group. And what we're going to do is go to File, Export, Audio and Video, and instead of doing Master, you can do all tracks, or if you just want to slice up one little, like say I just wanted to grab the synths from this track and leave the drums, um, I would just go down to Synths, and then press OK. And I already have this bounce, so we're going to go jump into my life set, and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so now we're in our live set, and I have this little synth part that we just bounced condensed into a 16 bar phrase, and what we're going to do is just right click and do slice to new MIDI track, and if you cut a 16 bar loop into quarter notes, which is what I've pretty much been doing with all my stuff, um, it'll cut it into 64 slices, which is great because on the launch pad we have 64 buttons play around with. And though you don't need a launch pad in order to do this, um, if you have a keyboard or a nano pad you can play them back like that, but I feel on the launch pad it's just it's so much fun. Um, so um, for slicing preset, I made my own in here which just has the, uh, the choke setting set to 1 on all of the uh, slices, um, which I'll show you what that does, but you might just want to take some time and go through these and see um, exactly, you know, what they all do. Um, so go ahead and press OK. And I already have this all sliced up here, which I sliced mine into a 32, uh, or in the, into 32 slices instead of 64, just to kind of save some space. Um, so um, turn the release all the way up on these, just so when you play, or when you hit the notes, it'll play the whole, the whole slice. If you have it like this, you have to actually hold down. And on the choke setting here, I have all these set to one. And um, what that does is, see when I play this. It'll automatically cut the one you play before when you play another slice. So, which is really handy. Um, so now let's just play all the slices and see what it sounds like. Okay, so from there, um, Let's just play a little drum rhythm and just kind of mess around with this. Alright, awesome. So now I'm going to kind of show you how I have this integrated into my life set. Um, what I've done is I've gone through um, some of my other tracks and have chopped up the um, some synth parts, vocal parts, and just other pieces of tracks that I want to be able to play back live. Um, as you see here, I have like 20 some different little drum racks, like doing the exact same thing that we just did with that synth part, but they're all grouped into one instrument rack here. And using the chain select here, like you see all these little blue boxes, um, I have this little guy MIDI mapped right here. And what that does is when this orange thing is over uh, the little blue box, it'll play this drum rack. Okay. 
so, and I move it, and this is the next set of samples, and so on. So, and I mean, you don't have to use synth parts, you don't have to use other people's songs, you can pretty much do whatever you want, you could have a bunch of different little drum loops, you could have just drum hits on some of these, um, you know, I just have it set up the way that, the way that I'm going to be using it. And, um, kind of what I have go going on here, I'll just do a little demonstration. Um, instead of recording, um, whatever thing I, whatever I, instead of recording what I play back, um, as MIDI, I'm recording it into, uh, two separate loopers, um, and I'll, I'll kind of show you what that, what that sounds like here. Awesome. So, um, I kind of hope that that gives you guys some ideas on kind of how to integrate this into your live set and to um, make your performances a little bit more interesting. And um, I mean, this has completely changed how I'm doing my live stuff now. Um, instead of focusing so much on just launching clips, which I mean, the launch pad is great for that, but um, you know, if you have a chance to actually be able to play back your own stuff and you know, do live remixes with parts from your actual tracks like I'm doing here, you know what I mean, it just kind of opens up a whole different world, so I um, hope this helps you out, if you have any questions or want to see me do a video on something else, email me at killparismusic at gmail.com, thanks, peace.